Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm going to show you a sweet alert tutorial. So basically you can replace your JavaScript alert with sweet alert tutorial. So let's get started. So that's the view I have created. So I have just given a click me button on clicking that button. Sweet alert pop up will be displayed. So let me show you documentation. So firstly, you can see there is installation. So I'll be using CDN link. Then there is basic example of sweet alert. So I'll be showing you that. So let me show you code now. So I'm using coding nighters. So you can use any other framework as well as just I'm going to show you view part here. Let's just copy the link of the CDN and paste. After that, let me show you basic example that is of sweet alert. Let's say hello world I'll display. So paste in the script and now we need to connect our button with this sweet alert. So write on click, write one function, let's say click me and define this function in script. So write click me and inside that write sweet alert. So now let's go and check in browser. So refresh and click on button click me. So now you can see our sweet alert pop up is there written with hello world and one OK button is there. So if I'll click OK, then our pop up will be closed. So you can see it's very easy to add sweet alert to your project. So let me show you another example with title and a icon. So copy this one and paste in script. So now let's go and refresh click button. Now you can see there is icon then there is title. So icon I have sent is success. So that's why there is a checkbox. So you can see button text is also changed as in script. You can see for button there is another text is defined. So let me show you one warning example. So let's change icon to warning and let me change title to let's say are you sure you want to proceed and change button text to OK. So now save and refresh. Click me. So now you can see warning is having different sign and you can see OK is having blue color right now, but I want a red color here. So let me change button to buttons and pass through as I want cancel button as well. Then write danger mode to true as I want OK button to be red. So now let's go and check in browser. So click. Now you can see there is cancel button and OK is having red color. So you can see in JavaScript there is confirm button. So these two options are there. So you can replace the JavaScript confirm with this sweet alert. So if I click on OK, nothing is happening and on cancel as well, nothing is happening. So I need to handle the user response that if he clicks on cancel or OK. So for that we will be using promises. So basically we will be getting a response. So we need to handle that. So write dot then and write response. So inside that, so in response, I'll be getting true or false because there are two options. Let's say OK and cancel. So let's say if response is true, then again, sweet alert, let's say for success. And if it's cancel, then let's say sweet alert of failure. So now let's go and check in browser, refresh. Click on OK. So you can see there is success sweet alert. And if I click on cancel, then there is failure one. So you can see it's so simple to replace your normal alert with sweet alert. So I'll be creating one more video on sweet alert in which I will display how to have one input field in your sweet alert and how to submit that. So that's all in this video. I hope you really like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.